Sunday, 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 one day only. Okay, so this is the OSB. This goes on the side um, so that basically when this is all screwed in, it really gives the whole the whole thing some, like the, the whole structure is very solid. These slats um, will have something to screw to no matter if there's a uh, stud there or not. We're gonna cut this off with a saw just wherever it needs to, wherever it needs to, like this side. Put this on and then cut it off right here with the saw. Um, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Just put this piece on. I'm gonna run a saw along here. It's just that easy. The whole thing's gonna get covered. Uh, the other goal I want to uh, complete, the other thing I want to complete today is I want to I want to run the wiring for the lights. Also, I was on Groupon and got these uh, in ceiling speakers for 22 bucks. So I was thinking about getting a place inside to put those too. So, but. Uh, as far as this goes, I'm gonna have a light here. This is gonna be for the bathroom area. I'm gonna have a light above my kitchen area there. One light above the bed, and then one light outside um, the front wall for the, uh, whatever that's gonna be called, the porch kind of thing. So, they're all gonna be on, I was thinking they would all be on one circuit. I might put the one outside on a separate circuit so that it's not just like, if my lights are on, they're all on at the same time because I don't think that's necessary. So anyway, but I think that all three inside lights are just going to be on the same one. They're really energy efficient lights. They are, uh, they're 12.5 volts. Um, I'm sorry, 12.5 watt light bulbs. They're LEDs. So they, they give off light consistent with a 65 watt incandescent bulb and they just barely consume anything. These are the, these are them. So they're awesome. And then the other thing that I hadn't done yet that I really need to get done is connecting this whole thing to the frame of the trailer. All right, so I'm drilling right now the holes for the lighting um, wires. So basically, I would really suggest that these these bits are about 30 bucks. Um, I've just had this for a long time, but if you can find someone that has one, they're great because this grabs into the uh, wood and it just pulls it through. So it's kind of, you kind of have to even watch out for like that it's not going to pull you through too. So, but um, yeah, basically um, with where I want these lights to go. So I was going to put the light right here. The toilet will be like sort of below that. So I'll look angelic when I'm on the pot. Anyway, um, yeah, you like that? <laughs> anyway, so then um, I wanted to do one more light in this area here. Um, and since the, the ceiling comes up at this pitch like this, having a light here um, coming down this way and then having a light actually just right in the very crook of the top of the roof, they're sh um, coming like angled in this way, I think will be really good for the, the lighting the whole space, you know. So I was going to put one like in this area right here, but then it would be, it would actually be angled away from the living space. So I'm going to angle it on that side of the wall. The only bad part about that is I just have to keep drilling these holes all the way through these next two, three, four, four five, six boards to get all the way to the other side of that. All right, this is, uh, it's lunchtime. We're feeling like we're going to pass out. And, um, yeah, so this is how far we got. My brother's helping today and Kendra came up. She's helping too, so anyway. This is it. I've got a gap right here, and it's kind of like, there's a board on the other side of it, there's a board here, and really, I don't know, I'm not super worried about it. If it were drywall, I would cut in, take a strip off of here, and then I would have moved this board over, but really it's just OSB, so this is just what the uh, siding is going to hang on. And I've got all these studs in here, and we're going to have one screw every foot on each stud, so it's gonna be just fine. This stuff doesn't have to be pretty, it's just gotta be effective. Quick note about these connectors. I actually found these at work. They were, uh, there were a whole bunch of them that were thrown away in these bags. So they've got, they were like this. I just bent them out to that shape, but I'll actually use the L shape um, brackets like this down there on the other end. So yeah, it's another, Another way that I have uh, saved some dough. Okay, so this is my setup right now. 
this is the last way you want to test this, but I wasn't, I've never done wiring before, as you can clearly see. And so I wanted to make sure that this wiring setup was going to work with these lights. And I've got two lights in right now, just because they're freaking 50 bucks a piece. Um, and I was more of my concern to get the OSB in. So, about to find out if uh, this works. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to turn this light off. Okay, um, hold on, wait. Plug it in, plug it in. Oh yeah, so good. As she's good of power, and this is half the light that I'll have in here. So it's not super bright, but uh, this is a good like relaxing amount of light. And also, they are dimmable, and I think I mean it only costs like. I don't know, another $12 to put them on a dimmer switch, so I probably will do that. Um, I guess that's it for now. What's up? The door? Oh yeah, I didn't show them the door. Check it. Yo, coming to wreck it. What? Wreck a mic. Wreck a... I'm not very good at freestyling. So yeah, this is an old door that um, my boss at the, um, at the construction site, he was doing a renovation on his house. Can you shut it again? And so this door is, I can't remember what he said, 104 years old or something like that. So, but it's all like solid wood. It's, I, I love it. It's like really rich tone and heavy and awesome. So there's another one just like that. That's going to be a pocket door for the bathroom area, which is going to be right over here. All right. This is kind of dumb, but it means a lot to me. It glows from the inside. Uh -huh. So anyway, um, it is, I don't know, pretty late, like not super late, but it's like eight. So anyway, that's a wrap for tonight. Everything's all cleaned up and whatnot. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for watching guys. Also, um, yeah, if you have any, if you, if you know anybody who wants to, um, do something like this, you should, uh, refer them to this channel, like subscribe, share it on your uh, Facebook pages and, and, uh, tag your friends in it. That would be awesome. All of your likes and comments on these videos um, really help the popularity of the channel and helps to kind of get the word out about micro houses and stuff like this. So share it, like it, subscribe it. Peace.